Hello, this is Eric Bobro, and in this ARCHICAD quick tip, I'll show you how to deal with some of the small little nagging issues that might be just driving you a little crazy. They all came up in some recent calls in my ARCHICAD coaching program. Let's take a look in 3D with a little marquee around just this one area. So with the marquee drawn, I right click and say show just what's selected in the marquee in 3D. And let's take a look. You see the black edge to these walls. They're not showing the composition of the wall like you can see at the top. How can you get that to show properly? Go to the view menu, elements in 3D view, filter and cut elements in 3D. Now remember I drew a marquee, so I was cutting through the building and it's saying put a custom surface wherever you cut. Now I'll change it from black to red and say OK. You don't see an immediate change. I have to zoom in or out a little bit so that it refreshes or rebuilds. And there you see red. Well, That could be very interesting for certain types of presentations. But let's say that we wanted to make it show the actual composition. We go to the View menu, Elements in 3D View, Filter and Cut Elements in 3D, or use the keyboard shortcut, Command Option A or Control Alt A, and then change it to Use Element Attributes. Say OK. Zoom in a little bit. It refreshes. You can see it's now showing that detail. On the other hand, we have this freestanding wall here that really should have drywall around the end of it. When we go to the floor plan and we look, we can see that the drywall is here. Let me just turn this true line weight off and you can see it even more clearly. So we have a tool that's in the more area here of the toolbar called the wall end tool. And I can go click on the corner or the end of a wall to put something that will wrap around the wall. Now this isn't quite what I want because it's you know a different color and it's, it's not really a drywall wrap. So let me select it and you can see it's got handles like this and I'll go open its settings. This is a cased end. There are a half dozen library parts that are in the wall end group. I'm going to choose wrapped end which will wrap different pieces. It says uh, you know what how many contours and, and things like that. What It's going to pick up the skin parameters, uh, the same pen, etc. So I'll say OK. Now that's much better but it's not the full height and it's showing a slightly different color. So I'll go and select it here and we'll adjust it. Now I could type in the value of the height or I can simply use the setting to just fit to the height of the wall automatically. Now the 3D representation here has a wall end surface and I'm going to change it from what it was to the one that matches the wall surface, the generic walls interior and say OK. And You see now it goes full height and it is the same color. We still have this little line here. Now how can we get rid of that? I'll select it and you'll see that it's got a cut depth of two inches. That means that the drywall, which is five-eighths of an inch, is extended around an extra little bit. Now the ending here is the five-eighths using the outer thickness that uh, was found on the drywall. I need to change this and it says you can change it to anything starting from 5 eighths. It can't go down below that. Now I made a mistake the first time I did this and said let's just cut off that. Let's just turn that off. You notice how it fills in some things here and when I say OK it actually does something weird. It, it puts a little bit at the end but it cuts that off. I think that's sort of a bug and when I go back and undo this I can do it the correct way which is to change this exactly to 5 eighths like this and you can see how it only has the wrapped end and it didn't put in any extra stuff here. So this is the proper way to get the result that we need where you can see it's totally clean. There's no vertical line and when we go to the floor plan you can see how clean that is. Now let's go back to show true line weight and say here this looks good. But what about over by the window? You see the window here has some you know, sort of inconsistent line work. Now during that coaching program call where this came up, I selected the window and went through every single parameter I could think of to try to correct it. Because it used to be that you could control it there. But it turns out that this is controlled by the wall composite. 
So if I select the wall composite, right click and say edit the selected composite, I can see all of the different skins starting from the brick on this top. Now the brick has the nice thick line because it's using pen 1 for the end, but these other ones are using pen 2 and in the US standard template pen 2 is a thinner line, it's gray. So I'm just going to go in here and change all of these that are for skins to that pen 1. I can still allow the lines in between to be lighter, but the end lines I want to be um, solid black. Say OK, and you can see how that instantly corrects that issue. Now let's take a look at something else in 3D that I've come up with in the Archicad coaching program call and that is how would you put tiles on the wall if this was a bathroom? Well maybe we want to start out by selecting the cabinet and removing the backsplash here, this extension of the cabinet. So I go in, select it, and here you can see the cabinet settings which have a backsplash and I can change this to zero. Now in this case it actually makes this gray saying well if it's zero then we won't even have anything visible and I'll just click OK and you can see that now has set it up so we could put in some tile but of course if I ch selected the wall and changed it to be tile in here it would also have tile over there so the solution to this is to break this wall up into pieces I'll select the wall and I'll split it using the split tool which is pictured like an axe click on that to say I'd like to split it and then go to the edge of the wall here make sure you're on the main reference line where the pencil has a black eraser as opposed to the other side where it has a white eraser go to this one click and then it's going to have the um, eyeball saying click on either side of the split line to keep the element selected there I'll click on this side here which keeps this part of the wall selected meaning that this other side is not selected. I'll split it again, again carefully going over here until I find the black eraser, the main reference line, and click the eyeball in the center. So now only the center part is selected, the other two parts are separate pieces of wall. Now you don't see any break lines here, it looks very clean, but this is now something that can be selected and edited individually. So we'll go back to 3D and select this piece of wall. This piece of wall I'm going to go and change the surface. The surface is right now set to use the building materials. So there's drywall with a certain default interior paint. I'm going to override that by clicking on this little check, this little um, icon, and then select in this case a tile pattern. Now you could actually have tile sort of as a, something applied in front of a wall, but I'm simply going to take the shortcut, which works pretty well visually, of just applying that tile surface to the face here. Now if I look at this, it looks pretty good, except that it starts with a half tile or some part of a tile here. So I'd like to set the origin of the tile maybe at the corner. So what I'll do now is go to the document menu. Creative Imaging, Align 3D Texture, Set Origin. Now in earlier versions of ARCHICAD this was found in the Design menu under Align 3D Texture. Now it's been moved to the Document menu as a subpart of the Creative Imaging. When I select Set Origin, it says Enter a 3D Location here, and I can click right on the corner of the cabinet, and you can see that's where the tile starts. I could actually click anywhere on the surface, it would start there, but of course this is a nice snap point to make a nice whole tile fit in there. Now let's do a couple of other cleanups that I know people have asked me about. One is if we wanted to inset the cabinet so that it actually was uh, set in to the wall where the tiles are running around it, how would you do that? So let's do a section where we can see the situation more clearly. I'll select that section marker and I'll take off one part of it so it's not making not quite so um, much getting in the way there and let's open up this section here. 
So you can see that the cabinet is sitting right in front of this and this would have the tiles going right behind the cabinet. Now there might be backboard and it might be a little different composition in here, but let me just select this and drag it. So where I take a snap point here in till it snaps in the wall. Now you can see now it's going back to the face of framing. Uh, we do have a problem is that it's passing through it so neither has priority. The wall and the cabinet both coexist in this virtual space. In order to fix that I'll select the wall and open up the design menu solid element operations. When you open this up if something is selected it immediately becomes a target. Click in empty space to deselect then select one or more elements to become the operator. Click Get Operator and now you can see it says that's going to operate on the target. Subtraction is one of several choices. This is the one we want because we simply want to remove where they intersect. Click Execute and you can see we now have a nice clean relationship. Let's go back to the floor plan. You can see that when I moved it in section of course it moved the same amount in uh, plan and when I go to 3D we can see it still looks clean. It's actually been s sticking just into and underneath the tiles there. Now this cabinet I notice that it has a funny uh, wash basin. It's showing facets. So I'll go in here and I found that the representation has an option for 3D resolution. And if I change that from 12 to a higher number like 36 and hit enter, that it now makes it nice and smooth. So we've now corrected a bunch of little but very important issues and options in terms of getting the edges to show properly, uh, putting a casing on the end of a wall, uh, getting tile work put around a cabinet with the whole tile exactly where we want um, and uh, also fixing you know, the line work around the window. So these are all questions that came up recently in my Archicad coaching program. I invite you to join the Archicad coaching program if you'd like my personal assistance in helping you with some of the important issues that come up with using Archicad in practice. You'll find a link for how you can join the Archicad coaching program on the page below this video. And I wish you the best with your Archicad use. May you discover and use and refine the best practices for Archicad so you can get the most power out of this amazing program. This has been Eric Bobro. Thanks for watching.